The Siri phenomenon represents an interesting turnabout in computer technology. When smartphones were still in their infancy, PC users were the tinkerers while Mac aficionados enjoyed their product's direct link between process and application. Windows provided the kitchen and the ingredients, while Apple computers prepared egg salad and served dessert. But while user-friendly, the iPhone is mysterious, always hiding some fun feature you can't quite puzzle out. Like group mapping a video game maze, iPhone users must help one another by sharing their discoveries on the truly diverse power of their device. Let's look at 10 of the best iPhone tricks known on the Internet. Number 10. Siri Gets to Know the Fam Siri is a treasure trove of fun conversation for the astute user, and she's armed with at least a rudimentary knowledge of pop culture. For instance, a well-known trick is to ask Siri to open the pod bay doors, a reference to the evil, omnipresent computer HAL in the movie 2001 A Space Odyssey. She will reply with a certain snark that intelligent machines will never live HAL down. But those who like to feel a little more real-life productive can use the Find Your Family method to introduce Siri to your clan. With an easy process that begins with a simple, Jane is my grandma, or Dave is my wife, all you'd have to do is say a familiar name into your iPhone and your distaff servant will text, email, and call within seconds. Or even show you where your significant other or kids are with a quick map. Number 9. Check Her Phone, Dr. Heimlich Suppose you fall and break your leg in public. A doctor arrives to help, but you can't remember which painkiller you're allergic to. The Apple Health app is designed to provide emergency information to medical personnel, even if you're incapacitated or unable to work your device. If you enable to feature Show When Locked, a quick emergency lookup of your stats can be displayed to anyone within seconds. Number 8. Customize Your Vibes We've all been there on a highly anticipated date and having set the iPhone to vibrate only. That way, we can at least feel incoming activity, but we mostly want to be left alone. But there's that client that we've been waiting a week to hear back from. Man, it's super important to know ASAP if that guy calls. So set a custom vibration for each caller, or certain callers. By surfing to Settings, Sounds, and Create New Vibration, the user can tap or hold to create patterns in vibration design mode. How about four short bursts for that all-important client and one long burst for nagging mom? Number 7. Best in the Field Mode Android users are familiar with the syndrome. Riding through a lonely locale and the device enters emergency-only mode. Suddenly, the user begins gazing at the sky, wondering where the nearest service could be. But if you've got an iPhone, the input code star 3001 pound 12345 pound star will bring up field test mode, which includes precise signal strength readouts and a map of available nearby signals. Number 6. Swiping isn't just for Tinder. One complaint from Android to iPhone converts is the lack of a back button. But even though there's no one main command for backtracking an iPhone, its makers did think of everything. If you're on your browser, your Gmail, or private messages, try simply swiping left to right. The iPhone will jump back exactly one task or browser image. Not as exciting as a Tinder swipe, but an equally efficient cure for headaches. Number 5. Self-destruct your own messages Forget the sexting and modeling implications. Suppose your wife asks you to send an embarrassing video clip of your last drunken karaoke performance, but she had a bad habit of posting your worst moments on Facebook for your parents to see. Set messages to auto-destruct, Captain. Go to iPhone settings and audio messages, and then set your messages to expire. Though the dialogue says audio, setting it to one or two minutes will auto-erase an audio or video clip at that time meaning your wife has time to view and giggle, but not to share. Number 4. Give that oldie a juice up If you're one of those sorrowful behind-the-times people who still has an iPhone 6, it probably loses its charge more often than a model with a fresh new battery pack. Never fear, though, the experts at Business Insider offer a four-step process 
for supercharging that old device you haven't gotten around to replacing. Remove the phone case, a heat-absorbing battery drainer, and plug in an iPad charging cable with the iPhone in airplane mode. Finally, let the home screen turn itself off and wait. That old bag of bolts will be glowing with a full charge before you know it. Number 3. Code Calling A popular underground iPhone hack is called freaking with a PH, or using special codes to unlock features and secret info. For instance, star pound zero six pound brings up your IMEI number, the cellular device equivalent of an IP address. For those worried about secrecy, you can input a handy code in settings that will disable your outgoing caller ID. Enter 31 pound, then the phone number, plus call, and your iPhone's number will be hidden from the recipient. Number 2. I need your clothes, your boots, and your motorcycle. Need a polite cell phone version of sorry we're closed? Use the respond with text function to quickly let an associate know you're busy. Under settings, phone, respond with text, you can customize the possible preloaded replies and quickly scan and send when rejecting a call. Though quickly scanning three possible phrases and choosing one may make you feel like a Terminator, remember to avoid bad language and violence in your Mark business you correspondence. Number 1. Trick Siri at Your Own Risk An annoying bug in the iPhone 7 involves not being able to use night shift and low power mode at the same time. But our life-hacking friends at Diply.com have invented an ingenious workaround. Activate low power mode, then ask Siri to enable night shift. She'll warn you that she has to turn off low power mode. Give her your blessing, then press the sleep button. When you unlock, both programs will be running at the same time. Be careful with how often you trick your Siri, though. You might need a pod bay door open for you one of these days. One of the biggest problems with smartphones today is the battery. They die quickly and they don't charge quick enough. So in this video, I'm going to give you guys some tips and tricks as well as show you some products that you can use to charge your iOS device quickly. So first, let's go through a couple of settings you can use when you're charging your iPhone to help it charge quicker. First off, we're going to open up Control Center and we're going to turn on the airplane mode. This is basically going to turn off all other signals so that it can charge quicker. It's not doing other things that it doesn't need to be doing. And with this tip, obviously, to make it even faster, if you just turn off your iOS device completely, slide to power it off, that'll also allow it to charge quicker because it's not using any power as it's charging. The next tip would involve using an iPad charger. Because it's larger, it's going to allow for more current, so it's going to charge the iPhone or iPod Touch quicker. Now, if you don't have one of these, I'll link you in the description down below where you can purchase one, and then you can get your iPhone charging a little bit quicker. Similar to using the iPad charger, you can purchase one of these charging stations. And what these do is allow you to charge multiple devices simultaneously and all uses one outlet. So it would plug into one end and then that would plug into your outlet. And you can see here that these are listed iPad, iPad, Samsung Tab, iPhone, and Android. Now, if you plug your iPhone to one of these tablet sections, you're going to get a higher current and it's going to charge the device quicker. Now, this right here might actually be cheaper than the iPad iPad charger, but I'll link you to it in the description as well as some of the other ones I've reviewed in the past and you can check them out for yourself. The next tip involves keeping your iOS device cool. Apple says that heat will degrade the battery's performance the most and basically advises that you keep it out of the sun like in a car or if it's outside at the beach or anything like that. Even a case that traps in too much heat wouldn't be a good idea as well. So basically keeping your iPhone at an optimal temperature, they say near room temperature, which is basically like 72 degrees Fahrenheit. Finally, if all else fails, you can always purchase a portable charging device like this right here. This will be able to charge your iPhone, iPad multiple times with one charge. And this way, if you're ever stranded, you'll always be able to charge your device. Now, one more tip here, just for those of you who are having battery issues. If you open up your settings application, go to general, tap on usage, and then tap on battery usage up top, you'll be able to see what applications are using what percentage of your battery throughout the day, or 
in the last seven days. So this is good to keep an eye out just in case an application for some reason is burning through your battery quickly. You can check it here. Now I'm actually going to put some cards. It'll either be here or here. And if you click on those, it'll take you to a few pages here. One of them will be a video on how to save your battery life with the iPhone, iPad or iPod Touch. Some tips and tricks and some settings that you should disable or enable to allow you to get the best battery life out of your device. Check that out. I'll also link you to all of these different devices devices here that you can go ahead and use and try to improve your battery life with. I hope you found this video helpful and enjoyable. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe for more videos like this one. Also, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment box down below. And as always, I've placed all the links in the description, as I said, and I've also placed the full playlist on the iPhone 6 tips and tricks and tutorial series in the description as well. So if you've missed any of those videos, you can check them all out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. A highly anticipated date and having set the iPhone to vibrate only. That way we can at least feel incoming activity, but we mostly want to be left alone. But there's that client that we've been waiting a week to hear back from. Man, it's super important to know ASAP if that guy calls. So set a custom vibration for each caller or certain callers. By surfing to settings, sounds and create new vibration, the user can tap or hold to create patterns in vibration design mode. How about four short bursts for that all-important client and one long burst for nagging mom? Number 7. Best in the field mode and The Siri phenomenon represents an interesting turnabout in computer technology. When smartphones were still in their infancy, PC users were the tinkerers while Mac aficionados enjoyed their product's direct link between process and application. Windows provided the kitchen and the ingredients, while Apple computers prepared egg salad and served dessert. But while user-friendly, the iPhone is mysterious, always hiding some fun feature you can't quite puzzle out. Like group mapping a video game maze, iPhone users must help one another by sharing their discoveries on the truly diverse power of their device. Let's look at 10 of the best iPhone tricks known on the Internet. Number 10. Siri Gets to Know the Fam Siri is a treasure trove of fun conversation for the astute user, and she's armed with at least a rudimentary knowledge of pop culture. For instance, a well-known trick is to ask Siri to open the pod bay doors a reference to the evil, omnipresent computer HAL in the movie 2001 A Space Odyssey. She will reply with a certain snark that intelligent machines will never live HAL down. But those who like to feel a little more real-life productive can use the Find Your Family method to introduce Siri to your clan, with an easy process that begins with a simple, Jane is my grandma or Dave is my wife. All you'd have to do is say a familiar name into your iPhone and your distaff servant will text, email and call within seconds, or even show you where your significant other or kids are with a quick map. Number 9. Check Her Phone, Dr. Heimlich Suppose you fall and break your leg in public. A doctor arrives to help, but you can't remember which painkiller you're allergic to. The Apple Health app is designed to provide emergency information to medical personnel, even if you're incapacitated or unable to work your device. If you enable to feature Show When Locked, a quick emergency lookup of your stats can be displayed to anyone within seconds. Number 8. Customize Your Vibes We've all been there. On Android, users are familiar with the syndrome. Riding through a lonely locale and the device enters emergency-only mode. Suddenly, the user begins gazing at the sky, wondering where the nearest service could be. But if you've got an iPhone, the input code star 3001 pound 12345 pound star will bring up field test mode which includes precise signal strength readouts and a map of available nearby signals. Number 6. Swiping isn't just for Tinder One complaint from Android to iPhone converts is the lack of a back button. But even though there's no one main